Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2020. This is the 2021 range from Benny Ma. They've just brought out this vehicle. It's called the Mileo 268. And I haven't got a price for you. If I had a price, I'd give it to you, but I haven't got one. So uh, please have a look at the comments section. And if it's not in the comments section, it might be in the description. And if it's in neither, then I haven't got it at all. But I suspect Benny Ma will know it. Right, so new van. This first thing that strikes me, as far as this is concerned, is the amount of space. It's got a huge amount of space down here. Let's go to the back. Now, I like one part of the van and not so much the other part of the van. Of course, I might change my mind a bit later. I might decide I like both parts or I might not like either. Thing is, people do change their mind. That's why people get divorced. So, let's start off with a bit I like. Now, I'm not a fan of the German layout, as I call it as a general rule. Personally, I'd rather have one bed at the back, but that's me. And I have a height, which is absolutely average for um, a European male, 175 centimeters. And so I don't, I can fit width wise, but there are people who are tall who don't fit width wise and therefore they need a length wise bed. Furthermore, it could be that you don't really want to sleep with the person you're with or too close and so you want separate beds. I mean, this is this is quite uh, this is quite common. Now, what we've got here is we've got some steps up and that is a very quality piece of kit for a comparatively cheap van. A comparatively cheap van, I'm just guessing here based on the price range in general, but that looks very nice. So I, I really do appreciate that. Now, if you want to make it bigger, of course, we can pull this bit out here, as we do with all the others, and the cushion goes on top, and push this down, and the bed could go down a bit as well, but I uh, won't bother with that. You've got the general picture of what happens. So you've got this now, this huge bed, and I appreciate, you probably think that ah, it's going to be difficult finding sheets to fit that. Yes, it probably will be. But uh, and this is something I keep saying in a lot of videos. Somebody could try producing the things, then uh, have a word with Benny Ma and maybe they'll sell them for you. I don't know, just, a, just an idea. I tried to get a friend of mine to do it, but she just wasn't interested. Uh, right, so steps up. As I mentioned, let's put the steps up. And have a look what else we've got through this magic door down here. It's magic, so it's got some steps in them. And there, that's where you can escape to when the dog is sitting on the bed. So you can come in here and uh, sleep in here while well, the dog's in the bed. The dog snores, for example. That's a problem I've got. And we've got here wardrobe. It's not a particularly large wardrobe, but it's a wardrobe nonetheless. And we've got a set of drawers down here, chest of drawers. And more lighting has come on. There's probably a good reason for it. Very nice shower with a step. I appreciate the step as I'm a cyclist and getting my feet clean is a big problem. Uh, what I normally have to do is I have to sit on the toilet to get my feet clean as my shower and toilet are in the same place. The best thing of course is to sit in the bath and I'm I had a bath for the first time in ooh, ages and ages uh, in the summer. I mean, that's something 
Oh, I really, really appreciate it. My mother often says to me, I wish I could have a bath because now she can't get out of it, unfortunately. But she says she'd really like to sit in the bath. So, so far so good. Let's have a look at this. I'll open this if I can. I would do if it wasn't stuck. Right, well. Okay, well, that the door slides across. It uh, appears not to be working. Though. I suspect that might have been somebody who's done that. Because it doesn't seem to be done. So I'm pull it out there from this angle. No, okay, right, well, I'm not going to force him. That's something at the dealer, if you get a van like that, there will be problems if you get a van, a new van. That's something the dealer to sort out. Now, here, come on to some of the points I am not so keen on. There's a lot of space here. I mean, you can have a game of football down there, possibly even cricket. And I look on that as being a bit wasted. You might want to have lots of space in the kitchen. Um, can't quite see the application myself, but maybe that's what you'd want. Don't know. I'd point out that they are, that it will come with knobs, they've just taken it off for the fair. And what's called face to face. Tell me what you think of the chairs. I, if it's going to be like this, personally, I think I'd rather have a bit of an armchair sort of thing. Uh, I feel as though that is, mm, I don't know, because of the way the space has been organised, I feel that's not quite right. Anyway, what do you think? And we've got a bed up there and it will come down electronically. There's where your tiny vision goes. I can't bring the bed down as I haven't got the key. The bed will come down to a level of approximately here where I am now. So I suppose you could just about sit at the table with your head bent over quite considerably if you measure no more than 80 centimeters in height. This is a very nice little storage unit, I think. Quite attractive. Tower fridge, freezer compartment down here. So uh, it's the drinks compartment, the freezer compartment's there. Sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry. got a cabinet down there you can put your shoes in or something so look on the upside now so that's ventilation for the fridge toilet cassette large door for the um, garage another large door for the other side same size for both ends that's great. Um, this thing here, this storage, will actually be held up like that. Or is that the gas cabinet? That I don't know. But even so, it'll, it'll be held up. Yeah, that's the gas, sorry. And so, yeah, I'll just take you around a quick whilst there's no one here we'll have a quick walk around the stand there's a benny van 110 this is a new product for 2021 also 
bunk beds at the back. Ooh, very claustrophobic. Overcad model Sport 363. Personally, I prefer the, the side kitchen like that. You've got the same rear here, more or less. But what it's got, it's got that space above the cab. This uh, Amphitron 940, which I think is more or less the, the top of the range. And uh, we'll have a look inside. Oh, rather plush seating. Yeah, nice. Where the, the bed at the back here. Not so keen on the bed above though. There's this idea that in Spain and in Italy people have large families and need bigger motorhomes. Matt, Matt Ruiz is the average, I think, could be wrong on this one, but the average in both Italy and Spain, the amount of children per family is actually lower than here in Germany. Could be wrong. Quite like this one here. Oh, I've got the price there, 51,699 euros for this one here. You can see all these in other films. And uh, so, well, we'll have a look at that one a bit later. So I'm not under pressure to go. I don't like to do things too quickly. I'm sorry I did that. I, uh, I showed you around too quickly, but I've got, I've got to go in a few minutes. Probably somewhere else. Thanks very much for being here um, and uh, hope you find that of interest. And uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe.